so hello friends in our previous video we have discussed about the pathology of the esophagus okay now in this particular video we are going to start with the pathology of the stomach and in this uh, category the pathology of the stomach we will first discuss about the gastritis in this video then in next video we will discuss about the critical disease and then in uh, the remaining video we will discuss about the carcinoma of the stomach and the main topic and this all the contents of uh, these videos are from your province or okay, province books of pathology so let's start with the acute gastritis first okay so the first topic that is we are going to discuss is acute gastritis so what is acute gastritis first we will define the acute gastritis so it is uh, because it is acute so it is transient inflammation okay it is transient inflammation of gastric mucosa the name itself suggests it acute means transient and acute okay and this is the inflammation it is so in inflammation so this is defined as transient inflammation of gastric mucosa so now coming to the etiology behind the acute gastritis so in this the first category is drugs in drugs in id okay such as your aspirin and other drugs such as iron preparations now the second is your h pylori itself okay the third is your alcohol the fourth is your chemicals uh, the gastritis acute gastritis may be due to severe physiological stress such as in bonds okay it may be due to bile reflux following your gastric surgery or it may be due to viral infections such as your cytomegalovirus virus so these all factors are promoting your gastritis okay these all factors will promote the gastritis now coming to the pathogenesis of the gastritis okay so now we are we will focus on the pathogenesis of gastritis clear so acute gastritis uh, can develop following disruption of any of the protective mechanism of the stomach okay there are many protective mechanism of the stomach such as your mucin and bicarbonate secretion so in acute gastritis there may be reduced synthesis of your mucin and bicarbonate okay so mucin and bicarbonate reduced formation and said and said directly interfere with the production which is provided by your prostaglandin or it also reduces bicarbonate formation okay so it reduces prostaglandin formation it reduces your bicarbonate formation and said gastric injury can be done by h pylori or okay h pylori can directly injury directly cause injury to the gastric mucosa or certain toxic chemicals it also can cause directly injury to the mucosa okay now the many times there will be insufficient epithelial regeneration means there is problem of problem in epithelial regeneration so the problem in epithelial regeneration may also lead to your acute gastritis so these all are the basic form of pathogenesis of the gastritis okay means decrease mucin and bicarbonate secretion and said causing the same decrease prostaglandin decrease bicarbonate secretion h pylori causing directly injury to your mucosa and there is insufficient or improper epithelial regeneration and certain at, at certain time decrease oxygen supply to the mucosa can also lead to gastritis okay and it is usually appreciated at when person goes to high altitudes okay so these are the important points in the pathogenesis of the acute gastritis now come to the morphology of the acute gastritis so what is the basic morphology of acute gastritis so in mild cases that is mild acute gastritis there will be no significant change okay you will you will not be able to appreciate any significant change in mild acute gastritis but in severe gastritis you will find that uh, severe mucosal damage has occurred erosion has occurred or sometimes there will be hemorrhage so it is also termed as acute erosive acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis okay so severe form is also uh, termed as acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis because there is erosion is occurring there may be hemorrhage okay so in severe form is known as acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis now this is a microscopic now what you will see in microscopy so in microscopy you will see dense infiltration by neutrophil because it is acute inflammatory condition so in acute inflammatory condition you will always encounter the neutrophils okay so you will encounter neutrophils there okay yeah? in the mucosa and there may be prolent exudent also there may be prolent exudate also in the lumen okay yeah? so this is the basic 
and this is important so severe form is known as acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis and the microscopy you will encounter neutrophil okay so this is about the uh, morphology which will you will see in acute gastritic cases okay now moving to the next part that is your clinical feature so what will the clinical feature you will encounter so it may be asymptomatic in many patients okay um, the symptoms will appear only in the severe cases and the uh, clinical features are first is your nausea the vomiting okay nausea vomiting then there may be epigastric pain okay nausea vomiting epigastric pain so these are the some clinical features which are associated with your acute gastritis okay and in severe cases it may cause your uh, mucosal erosion there may be ulceration there may be hemorrhage okay and because of the hemorrhage there may be hematemesis and there may be melena so in severe cases it can cause hematemesis and melena but in normal cases in mild form nausea vomiting epigastric pain will be there clear now this is all now the next topic uh, in acute gastritis that is we are going to discuss is mucosal disease which is related to a stress so stress related mucosal disease Stress related, the um, mucosal disease which are related to the stress. So first, there are many types in, in this. Okay, so mucosal disease related to stress developing is associated with severe, severe stress. Usually, uh, mild stress will not cause acute gastritis. Clear. Yeah. Now, what are the types which we are going to discuss? The first type is your itself stress ulcer. Okay, so it will occur along with the shock, sepsis, or severe trauma. The second type is your Curling ulcer. Okay, the second type is your curling ulcer, and it uh, usually develop in your proximal duodenum. This curling ulcer is usually develop in proximal duodenum with severe burn or trauma. Okay, this is associated with severe burn or trauma. The next, cushing ulcer. Okay, this cushing ulcer develop in stomach, duodenum, and esophagus. Three regions: stomach, duodenum, or esophagus, and it is usually seen in patient who is suffering from any intra. cranial disease okay, because suffering from an intracranial disease in that patient cushing ulcer will occur okay so these are the three types of ulcer which are related indirectly or directly to the stress conditions okay now uh, come to the pathogenesis of the stress ulcer so what is the pathogenesis of the stress ulcer so the basic pathogenesis behind the stress ulcer is your local ischemia so local ischemia is the basic cause behind the pathogenesis of the stress ulcer now this ischemia may be due to systemic hypotension this may be due to systemic hypotension or this may be due to intracranial injury okay, which has uh, directly stimulated the vagal uh, nuclei which has caused increased secretion of gastric acid now the third may be due to splenic vasoconstriction okay that is reducing the blood supply and getting hypoxic condition or there may be due to increased vasoconstriction like endothelium So these are the pathogenesis of the stress ulcer. Okay, these five four points. And the basic theme is your local ischemia. Clear? Now coming to the morphology. What morphology you will uh, going to see acute ulcers? Ulcer due to uh, stress. So first coming to the cause. So in size and shape, you will encounter that uh, the erosion may be shallow erosion, or in severe cases, it has form deep ulcers also. Clear? Now what is the site? So it may be anywhere. In the stomach, the number may be single or may be multiple in number, and then your characteristic. Then what is the characteristic of the ulcer? So that is important. Margin and bases are not indurated. Very important. Margin and bases are not indurated. Okay. Floor will appear brown or black. So floor is appearing brown or black, and this is due to the acid digestion of the extra basal blood. Okay. So this is about the morphology. Now. Come to the microscopy. Microscopy, what you will see? Microscopy same. Like acute inflammatory reaction, you will encounter different different numbers of neutrophils. That is it. Now, what is the clinical feature? So, most critically ill patient in intensive care unit. So, microscopic evidence of gastric mucosal damage. Okay. And clinical feature is same as acute gastritis. Okay. Clear. So, this is about the acute gastritis. So, in our next video, we will discuss the chronic gastritis. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Mr. Block. Please subscribe our channel and support us. Thank you.